Hey guys, this is George uh, talking to you from Las Vegas. I just wanted to give you an update on what happened today. Um, first session, I think we all did our separate thing. Uh, Bird did his own thing uh, down at uh, the Excalibur. And uh, he and his son, I think they were doing great. I think he's going to talk about that in more depth, but uh, he was very comfortable with his throw. Um, I did m my morning session at the area. Um, I did a very, very long session and um, a friend of mine who joined, who joined us on this trip uh, from Cyprus, he was just watching and uh, yeah, I think he was quite happy with what he saw because finally I was doing like a 20 plus rolls and uh, managed to hit the all small. I was, I think, uh, the 10 was missing for my all tall small. But I wasn't really focusing on that. I was just uh, hitting inside numbers. So I did quite well there. Um, I think ended up something like six, 800, uh, yeah dollars up so after that you know I took a break uh, with the family we did some nice things at the MGM Grand uh, meanwhile Nick I think lost a bit of money at the MGM Grand I didn't actually see him but he told me so so we we finished at the MGM Grand and uh, texted uh, Eddie he says he was heading at the Laxer, and I thought, yeah, why not? Let's do it. And we, we joined forces there. Kind of had a bit of a problem uh, getting in. Uh, the table was full, but we could see that there, w there were a lot of chicken feeders there. Uh, big money, but still chicken feeding all the way. So we kind of waited things out, and... Um, we didn't put too much money on the table. Got to our turn, did a few climbs, to be honest with you, flat bets. Uh, even money, I think I was down, but by the time the dice came around to me, I think I was down by 25 bucks. Just uh, uh, my bankroll was 300. Uh, started shooting. Uh, did my eight rolls. I was down very quickly, so uh, I was working with Casino Money all the way through. And um, uh, same, I think, Eddie. I think he, he had some good rolls. And then um, we kind of uh, called it, uh, you know, we, we took a break, basically. Stepped back, went to the bar, waited for Nick to come in. Um, I think I was up some 275 at the end of that session. Uh, we had some drinks. Well, actually, Eddie had a drink, I just had a Coke. <laughs> and um, then Nick joined us. So we had another go after that. And um, what, what did I manage to do? I think I managed to get one or two hits. I think it was very quick, seven out. Uh, when I say quick, it must have been like six, six or seven rolls. So um, managed to do some damage there myself. And uh, Eddie was there to rescue the day. Uh, I just cannot tell you how long he was rolling for. Um, must have been plus 30s. It was in the 30s at least. It was a beautiful roll. No explosions, no races coming up. Uh, he did the all small for Nick. And that was nice. And then he continued to roll. And he just had to hit the 12. So he changed his set. Got another couple of Yo 11s. And that was almost exciting. And then he got back on the aces. And uh, we were just having a great time, basically, because we were laughing all the way. Uh, we were up by so much money. So 
we didn't really care. We recovered basically uh, what I lost for everybody else. Um, and then I, I, I just had to go because uh, uh, we had dinner reservations for this evening. Actually just had a shower waiting for my wife to get ready so we can go. So uh, Nick got, uh, got the dice in his hands and apparently um, he did really well. Uh, I was already cashed out and I just uh, I, I just put 25 on the 6 and the 8, hard 6, hard 8, something I would never do. I was just doing it for shits and giggles. So um, basically uh, Nick was uh, hitting the 5, he was hitting the 9. He was being very respectful not to hit a, an easy 6 or an easy 8. And I said to him, you know, in the end, uh, just, uh, you know, get your act together, have a uh, dinner reservation tonight and I, I need that money on the table you know so get me my 250 so I can be on my way <laughs> and uh, it was just uh, too funny so I left and um, basically just uh, moments ago uh, Birdo came back to me and he says to me don't worry he didn't hit a hard six or a hard eight so yeah, it was uh, it was fun. I'm sure Eddie's gonna, uh, sorry, Birdog is gonna follow up with his own video just to give you his take on the day. Um, really good fun, really good fun. Ended up uh, first session two seven five, the second session I think uh, just over hundred, one seven five or yeah something like that. So anyway, uh, but the buy-in was like very small for me, so. I'm very happy with uh, with the result. I think first was 66 percent, second one about I don't know uh, 50 percent. So uh, it's it's a grind, but it's really enjoyable being with friends. I I'd recommend it to anybody coming to Vegas. You know, to have uh, a comrade, or someone you know that knows him. And uh, we were just talking about it with uh, with Eddie, uh, with Birdog, and he said that. The people that are writing all these comments and following us, uh, they're really nice people. And uh, it's like, uh, you know, a band of brothers that we've never met, but uh, we know how genuine you guys are. And uh, just want to say thank you again. I know I'm repeating myself. And um, yeah, that's it. I think uh, for tonight, it's going to be the final session for this evening, uh, what we just uh, had at Luxor. Um, and looking forward to tomorrow and see what uh, what the dice have installed for us. So this is George from Las Vegas. I'm sorry it's taking too long. So uh, thank you so much again for watching and uh, for uh, keeping in touch with us. We really appreciate you guys. Um, dice out. This is George.